Hey, hey, Aries, Intuitive Soul Coach here with your March 2024 monthly reading. Welcome back to my channel if you are returning and welcome if you are new. If you're interested in a personal reading, signing up for the monthly newsletter or entering into the free reading giveaway, you can find all of that information in the description box below the video. All right, Aries, welcome. The key theme showing up for you in the month of March, you have new life milestones and you also have intuition powerful combination here now some of you intuitively know that this new beginning new journey maybe a new offer is coming into your world if it hasn't already a lot of you have been working really hard at some sort of milestone or accomplishment and i feel like march is when the ball gets rolling possibly in the physical world You've been doing a lot of internal work is what I'm getting here as well with the intuition. You've been listening to that voice within. This is about synchronicities and a lot of you have been seeing more than one synchronistic event lined up. Maybe you've been meditating more. You've been paying attention to the signs that the universe is giving you. It could be through songs, through numbers, through divine meetings, divine interactions here. This is also about a sense of awareness. And because you have the awakening card subconsciously at the bottom of the deck, a lot of you, you were shook out of a situation here because you have the hanged man right away. That's your first card out and it is a major arcana. So some of you may have even felt like you were stuck in limbo or you were just stuck in a state of needing to go through some spiritual awakenings here because that is the energy at the bottom of the deck. And this is about rebirth, right? Reclaiming your power, Aries. And you're like that phoenix rising from the ashes. And I'm also getting this energy of truth coming out for you. I kind of get a little bit of that king and queen of swords energy here for you as well. So some sort of truth, some sort of accomplishment, getting honest with yourself. Possibly why I'm getting that king and queen of swords is because this could be about clarity, integrity, and your, your thoughts and your actions aligning, right? Your beliefs and your thoughts and your, your heart and just everything feels like it's more in the flow in the month of March instead of resistance because we do see here an awakening out of some sort of resistance. So new life followed by milestones. Big accomplishment here for you in your life, whether this is love, career, health. I also see some of you, you've been really focusing on your craft because I do get that energy of the eight of pentacles. So perhaps you've been doing some studying, some online learning, putting in a lot of effort towards your business or your career or putting yourself out there looking for maybe a new income source or a new job. But there is a milestone coming in and I feel like this is gonna bring you a lot of success personally and professionally as well for a lot of you. Now your intuition is spot on this month. So pay attention to the downloads that you are receiving. Okay, thank you, Spirit. As I said, downloads, this is interesting. Some of you may, maybe you're cooking or baking this at this time, shake and bake chicken or shake and bake, or maybe you are creating a dish that resembles some sort of shake and bake. Very specific, please take it as it resonates. Now, you may be even meditating more or receiving a lot of those synchronicities that we just talked about through meditation or through quiet time in nature. Some of you may even be opening up to a new spiritual gift. Yeah, with a new life. This could be clear audience. It could be clairvoyance. Some of you, this is mediumship. For others of you, it could be automatic writing. You may be a channeler as well. So I do see for a lot of you Aries out there, it's like you may have felt like your intuition was stuck with the hanged man energy. And a lot of you, you had to go through a major wake-up call or an awakening, and that is actually what is helping you dive deeper into your spiritual gifts. So give thanks for whatever stuck energy or hanged man energy you had to go through in order to embrace and bring in this new life. Because sometimes it's sticky. Sometimes when we're going through transformative periods, we don't really like it, and we don't sense a lot of gratitude while we're in it but I feel like there is silver lining here coming in 
Now again, bottom of the deck, you do have an awakening. This is some sort of spiritual en enlightenment, which kind of coincides with your first card out, which is the hanged man energy. This is a major wake up call, waking up to some sort of truth, right? Waking up to maybe even a new perspective, <coughs> excuse me, after a time of... <clears throat> Again, feeling stuck or feeling like things were on pause or delayed. You may have even felt like you were sacrificing your time, your energy towards maybe something that wasn't fully abundant or wasn't filling your cup. And that may be what you had to go through in order to tell yourself, wow, what am I still doing here? Why am I still working in this job or in this relationship or eating this crap food or whatever it may be that just weighed you down physically, emotionally, mentally. And I feel like you're having an aha moment in the month of March, Aries. And that makes sense because as we move into fully into your season, this is a major time where a lot of people do reassessing around their birthdays, right? What have I, how far have I come? What have I accomplished personally as well as maybe on this earthly realm? So definitely waking up right in time for your season. By the way, happy birthday, Aries, for those of you sun Aries out there. Now you have the eight and the nine of wands showing up here. So it is about self-confidence. It is about you overcoming resistance. I do see because the hanged man is here, there was something you were resisting. And the reason why is because there were still some lessons, maybe lessons on patience, lessons on growth, lessons on inner truth. Maybe some of you are dealing with that king or queen of swords. Maybe some of you have some air placements in your chart, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Aries, Libra is your you know, opposite on the... the the spectrum here as well, or the wheel. So I feel like this was a really good time, or it is a really great time for you to find harmony and find balance when it comes to balancing up those actions with your, again, emotions and beliefs and staying in your integrity. Some of you, you had to learn a lesson, maybe the hard way around staying true to you and your integrity and not sacrificing your own self at the expense of another, okay? That was a lesson for some of you. But you're regaining a sense of confidence here with this Eight of Wands energy. I also see here with this Eight of Wands, some of you may have had some sort of uh, travel. This could be relocating, maybe even movement. Because this new life is showing up here, some of you, you are moving for a job or you may be listing your house on the market, maybe moving into a new rental property here, or there is definitely some change coming in here. I, I do see here that you felt like you were kind of hitting a brick wall in the past. That's what is coming to a, uh, it's almost as if you found a new way to go around maybe that brick wall. For example, maybe you were trying to list a property or you kept coming up against uh, an energy of resistance when it comes to finding a home in a certain property or excuse me, a certain area. Maybe that was the universe's way of saying, well, we have better plans for you. Maybe you should be looking in this area. And then once you start to release the reins a little bit, once you start to open yourself up to saying this or something better, right? That's the key piece is the something better. It's almost as if spirit brings this into your life quite quickly because there's not a sense of resistance or maybe this is the only way because sometimes that king of swords energy that I'm picking up on, it can be my way or the highway. I'm not saying that's you. Maybe it was someone you were dealing with here, Aries, but I feel like once some sort of resistance is kind of released or you go through it in a different way. That could be the, the hanged man. Once you see something from a new perspective, then that self-confidence just, you know, pours in and it actually brings you into the two and the three of cups, right? This is union. This is harmony. Beautiful energy with the dolphin swimming there. You see the two of cups is about soulmate energy or important partnerships. It's about attraction as well, attracting what it is that you've been wanting for quite some time. 
okay? It could be a relationship. It could be that job that you've wanted or that raise or that promotion. Whatever this milestone is, I feel like the reason why it feels like such a milestone for you, Aries, is because there was some sort of sacrifice. There was some sort of maybe control. Maybe you or someone around you was controlling in a specific dynamic and it was my way or the, my way or the highway type of energy. But now that that has been shifted in some way, shape, or form, you're coming into union with what it is that you truly desire, right? This is that something better piece. Three of Cups is the energy of harmony, celebration, and that makes sense with the milestone because the Three of Cups can be hitting that milestone after, you know, manifesting a new beginning. That's that Ace of Cups, uh, overflowing of love, uh, a cup from the universe being handed to you. Then there is a coming together, right? Coming together in either the physical, the emotional, the spiritual, whatever that may be for you, and then taking it to the next level. So it's almost as if something happens quite quickly here for you, and it harmonizes in a very beautiful frequency. For those of you that have ever listened to maybe a band concert, maybe a middle school band concert, right? Sometimes it takes a little bit for them to harmonize together. You may have the trumpet over here that has some squeaky notes and maybe the flute over here. And it's just, if it's a little bit of an imbalance at times because they're learning, they are growing and they, they're going through some, some new beginnings, right? New beginnings, learning new notes, learning how to play maybe a new instrument for the first time. It takes some fine tuning. And by the time they hit maybe senior level or they go on to play professional orchestra or whatever it may be, it's like the instrument within them uh, and without has kind of fine tuned and it's a beautiful synchronized energy. And that's what I get here for you. Now you have the Empress, beautiful energy, mother nature here. The Empress is the epitome of abundance. It is creativity at its finest. It's growth. It's fertility. It's very nurturing, right? Regardless of the storms that bring down maybe certain trees or certain, you know, energies in the environment. So regardless of what threatens to bring you down, you are meant to thrive. You're meant to come back and regrow, right? Even if there was a tornado that comes and wreaks havoc in your life, a tower moment, right? There is a rebuilding after that. And I feel for a lot of you, not saying you went through a tower moment, I don't see it here, but I'm sure at one point or another, you've been through it. This is about tending to your garden. And I feel like a lot of you have been putting in a lot of, and I'm, I'm hearing the word equity, Okay, that's interesting. Some of you may have put equity. I was going to say here blood, sweat, and tears, but spirit just uh, interjected with equity. So maybe you have put in a lot more into something and you've been waiting for the abundance to come in. March is a big month to see something flowing. I'm surprised we don't see the Wheel of Fortune here in your reading as well, but I'll take your final outcome because it is the Ten of Cups, Privilege right? This is beautiful energy here about, you know, coming together in a way that feels fulfilled. Some of you may even be traveling. This can be vacations. It can be fortune. It can be serenity and uh, emotional wealth as well as deep affection for, for those around you, for what you do, for a living. There is some sort of completion or finalization that is leading to this new life. And I really like this for you here as well. I mean, Ten of Cups is a beautiful energy. You see the ivy that's kind of growing. So we get more growth here. You see this ivy, it may be a specific type of flower that I'm unaware of here. It's a beautiful purple flower, but it's kind of creeping up the gates and there is a portal. There's some sort of opening and you are walking through the threshold. It's like you've completed a very important soul lesson or cycle in your life. I do see here again, some sort of travel, some sort of movement after a time of maybe a delayed or prolonging of an energy. And with that milestone, this is going to bring a lot of happiness. I mean, 10 of cups, that is privilege. 
Have gratitude here. And if you have more than enough, if you have excess, spread it. Money is an energy, right? Time, all of these things are just energies. And what we put out, we're going to get back in return. So if you feel like you are stuck at times in that four of pentacles energy where you're hanging on so darn tight because you might not have it, remember the energy exchange of the law of reciprocity. What you put out there, you will receive. So a lot of you, you understand that universal law. You understand that what goes around comes around and you also understand that your thoughts affect your reality. And because you've been working on that piece of self-development, that's why you are at this 10 of cups. Beautiful energy. I'm also getting a soul tribe or a coming to family, coming to Jesus moment for some of you with that awakening. Now, it doesn't mean it has to be religious, but I do feel like a lot of you are having some sort of coming to Jesus moment in the month of March where you just get it, right? It's like for maybe months on end or years on end, it, it has felt like a resistance or felt like a struggle. And then it's like, boom, it's right here in your face. And you're like, why did it take me so long? Or how, how am I just now understanding something? I mean, I'm not at all admonishing your intelligence. You are very intelligent here, Aries, but I feel like you had to go through something that, again, woke you up. This is almost like that great awakening, a waking up, being shaken out of a situation here. And because you have so many of the, the ma major arcanas, well, two major arcanas here, you have the hanged man with the empress. So you've been waiting to see some sort of abundance or success shifting. And we see it coming in here full circle, especially with that 10 of cups. Now you have the nugget, you have the coins and you have the cutlery. Okay. Thank you, spirit. I'm getting here the name. It could be a place, a location, someone's actual name, Alexandria. Okay. Alexandria. And I'm also getting here MSP or MIA. I mean, those are airports, I believe, in the US. MSP would be Minneapolis and MIA, I believe, is Miami. So some of you could have some sort of direct flight or maybe you live in one of those locations. I mean, please take that as it resonates. It's interesting that both of them came through. So I mean, maybe you're flying from Minneapolis to Miami. Who knows? But I do feel like for some of you that could resonate or maybe it's an initial as well, MIA. Okay, we have the coins showing up. This is money coming in. Beautiful. For some of you, you felt like the money was kind of just going out, right? Co going in one pocket and it's like you had a hole in the pocket. And this is about a return on your investment. It is wealth. I feel like some of you are taking a look at your money, maybe even working with a professional. Maybe you're doing some taxes or you're moving money around. Some of you may even be transferring maybe sole proprietorship to LLC, to S-Corp. I do see something here financially savvy coming in for some of you. You could also be changing numbers of some sort. Maybe if you work for someone, you could be changing your, maybe your numbers in order to save more or to put more in. I see here that some of you also could be a financial advisor, a tax accountant yourself, or you're just looking at some sort of numbers. Maybe you're keeping a spreadsheet or you are looking at where you spend your money or where it's going, maybe how much interest you're making off of it. You could also be looking at changing things up a little bit. For example, maybe you've went with one insurance agent for quite some time and you decide to go with a new agent. I feel like you're weighing up the pros and cons. And instead of just sitting on it, waiting for change to happen, which sometimes we can do in the hanged man, I feel like you're being proactive here. Yeah, because maybe you were resisting change because, you know, change requires us to take action, step out of our comfort zone. And sometimes we just don't want to make the call, right? Because it, it feels like an inconvenience Convenience. Therefore, we'd rather just pay the, the fee without calling and checking around. But I feel like there is a kick starter or some sort of kick fire that's behind your you know what and you're getting things done and you're going to say, wow, I wish I would have called, you know, two years ago. I could have saved a fortune. And that's kind of what I feel here with this hanged man for some of you. I also see here someone could be getting bottom, okay, bottom dollar or top. Okay, is it bottom dollar or top dollar here? Oh, okay. 
the bottom, you paid bottom dollar for something. So you may have paid low or you may have bought in something where the cost was lower than average and you may be turning around and selling it for top dollar. Okay, I mean, that could be anything from a pair of pants that you find on a thrift store and maybe sell on Poshmark or it could be a, a you know, a, a home. Maybe that's part of that energy of equity that I was getting here. So please take that as it resonates. I'm not a financial professional. See the disclaimer below, but this is a lucky energy here with the coins. It's about getting a raise, maybe sales, again, finances, doing your due diligence. I feel like if you do make the call or if you shop around or, you know, be proactive in some sort of way, you're going to see that things come together. One of my favorite sayings is take one step toward the gods, they take 10 steps towards you. And I feel like you, you got to put a little bit of that action forward and you're going to reap the rewards. Not saying that you're going to do very little, but I feel like you've been doing a lot in the past and you got tired. Some of you, you got tired. Some of you may have even gotten sick or had to deal with some sort of illness, even though that's not showing up here. But I see that with the resistance. And when we resist the flow of life, when we are not in alignment with our inner truth, it can create dis-ease in the body, also known as disease, right? Which can lead to sickness. Now you have the cutlery tool, uh, the cutlery or the business tools, right? Uh, I'm seeing the words networking. Even though it's not showing up, I don't think on any of these cards, I, I see here they're showing me networking. So some of you could be attending a networking event or perhaps you're going on a business trip. This could be food related. Uh, make sure that you are looking at maybe food expenses or if you're a business owner, make sure you're taking your food write-offs here. Uh, this could be sole provider. This is living well, right? And we have the privilege card showing up. So this is about living well. Yeah, you have this as part of your soul's purpose. For those of you that feel like, Melissa, I ain't there yet. Well, if you're on the beginning of this new journey with this new life, trust, okay? Trust that you are meant to go through what you're going through or what you've gone through in order to bring in abundance into your life so you can live feeling a little more privileged, okay? And that's not selfish, right? The Ten of Cups isn't a selfish energy. It's manifesting from a place of heart. And for those of you that are on the spiritual path, which we all are, but for those of you that are more awakened on your path, you understand that entirely. That in order to live here on earth, that we do need, you know, in a way, we, we need money, right? We need that exchange, whether it does show up in the form of emotional wealth or relationships or good health or some sort of prosperity, abundance, financial security, that's part of the Ten of Cups. Even though we do see that more in the Ten of Pentacles, but when we manifest from a place of heart, that's what leads to that family dynamic and love for mankind, okay? Uh, this can be also Nugget. Some of you may even receive a nugget back, okay? Maybe you're getting some sort of back pay or perhaps there's something here that you're gonna save money on as mentioned. Now, this is really beautiful. Even if it's a small increase, give gratitude, right? Valuable information could be coming in for you that's gonna help you move forward and help you maybe grow, grow in equity, grow in your finances. I feel like this milestone that I see here for you, Aries, is, is going to grow. Okay, so even if it's a minor one, give gratitude, give celebratory energy towards this, give thanks, because it is something that has the potential to really grow into something fruitful and abundant with that Empress and that Ten of Cups. This is about getting an honest assessment, taking a good look at a situation. So if you're still in this hanged man energy as we speak here, it's really important to get honest with yourself. And look at that. You have fresh start showing up here again. So there is a fresh start in that word or that phrase is showing up twice. Fresh start. That could be building your career. It could be steady work after maybe feeling like things were unsteady. Maybe there was resistance going on at work or there was, you know, maybe even a lack of confidence in what direction something was going to go here for you. 
if you were waiting to hear back from a prospect or an organization or a new company or new clients, I feel like there is going to be that milestone. You will get that call back and it will lead you to more stability if that's what you're seeking in your career. All right, I'm loving this. For those of you that are retired, I see here that there could be uh, money for you to be able to maybe travel if you're looking to travel or you're looking to put yourself out there a little bit more because you've invested wisely is what I see. And I do get that soul tribe energy as well. And because we have that 10 of cups, some of you could even be meeting new people or joining a community of like-minded individuals. Some of you could even be moving to maybe a, a community for 50 and up or 60 and up or something of that nature where you are able to I'm getting someone playing tennis as well so some maybe someone plays tennis but I feel like there's a lot of excitement coming in here after again resistance whether it was you resisting or it just felt like you were coming up against that brick wall there's going to be some sort of movement here for you even though I don't see any sword energy which is interesting because a lot of you you have been thinking and maybe even overthinking, but I feel like you are dropping down to your heart center this month and you're saying, okay, I've already thought tooth and nail about something. Now I'm going to put in my heart and, you know, the action behind it with the fire. And I feel like not that you're not thinking logically because you are Aries. It's just that you've already done that piece of it. And there's still going to be times for you to think logically, but I feel like that's not the main focus of overthinking, overanalyzing, going over, second guessing, right? Your intuition is playing a big part in this as well. When it comes to love, passion could be in the air, right? You have very soon, for those of you that are those of you that are single, okay? Thank you, Spirit. Uh, Chuck, Charles, Charlie could be significant. Uh, that could be even someone in spirit who is telling you or sending you this message of love. All right, very soon, clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you now. Allow your heart and soul to sing with joy. Yeah, passion is in the air with the eight, and, eight of wands. Uh, it is a passion energy, especially with the two of cups. I mean, expect some sort of communication or expect to maybe connect, meet with someone where you just know. You just know that this person is your soulmate. You immediately click. There is an instant knowing here that maybe this person you want to, you know, be with. You feel very privileged to be with them or maybe they feel that way about you and it's almost like an instantaneous soul connection that I feel between you and another person. For those of you that are in a relationship currently, I feel like this would be a really great month to either take a second honeymoon, go on a trip, do some sort of travel. We do have the honeymoon card showing up here and this is about enjoying either holiday time together, which in the month of March... I'm not sure what holidays are out there, maybe in a different country, but the holiday per se could be your birthday, okay? Could be your birthday, even if it your birthday is in April. I feel like there is some sort of travel here. We see the boat in the water, maybe even London, maybe Paris, maybe Miami, right? I feel like the passion is in the air or has the opportunity or potential to reach new heights and to rejuvenate this energy as well. All right, the two, three cards that came out of the soul's truth you have here. Does my life have room for more pleasure and play? In what area are you lacking pleasure right now? Maybe in a certain relationship or with work. Is it possible, Aries, to shift the seriousness of life to experiencing a more creative, wild, and playful side of you? Bingo, that's why we don't see very many swords. Well, we don't see any, right? Because Spirit is saying, this is the month to have fun. This is the month to bring pleasure into the mix. This is the month to open your heart. What would happen today, Aries, if you added more play and laughter into your life? What area is lacking this right now? Take time to play. Let go of the need to produce anything. Yeah, we don't need to constantly be thinking up new, you know, endeavors or, you know, putting that our nose to the grindstone or overanalyzing or overthinking. Even though I do see you hitting a milestone, I also see this as a really good month to just allow. That is 
the empress energy she's receptive she allows her garden to be tended to by the rain right by nature around her she is nature she is all accompanied with one she is one so i feel like that's kind of the message for you that i'm getting is just allow yourself pleasure and play this month do it for you <laughs> you have do you surround yourself with people who lift you up. And maybe that was why I was getting such a strong pull towards soul tribe or networking or connecting with others this month because it says here, the people with whom we surround ourselves determine who we become. Does your tribe fill you up? Do they inspire you? Do they believe in you? Do they help you step into your greatest potential? That, these are legit real questions that your soul wants you to dive into, Aries. So I want you to take a few moments, maybe even after this video or pause it right now and just ask yourself those questions. Today is soul action. Make a list, a desire list of the type of people with whom you wish to surround yourself with and clarify, is there anyone in my life who no longer serves me? Can I love them from a distance? Yeah, because again, Remember in the beginning of your reading, we talked about integrity and maybe even you felt like you were compromising your integrity or you may have at times maybe even needed to strengthen some boundaries within yourself or another. And that leads to the next question here. Maybe those boundaries have to do with comparing. It says, to whom am I comparing myself to right now? What you are able to see in another and this is important. This is one of those universal laws that I've been talking about in a lot of readings lately, whether it's the law of karma, law of reciprocity, the law of attraction. This is about you being able to see in another what is visible because it's already within you, right? Remember, we are one. And this, it may be ready to be brought out, brought to the surface. If this is something that triggers you, if it's something that really brings you joy, so again, what you are able to see in another is only visible because it's within you. Ready to be brought out. Shine light on the feeling of not being good enough and see the truth. All that you need and all that you want is within you. Today's soul action. Today, stop comparing and start creating, right? Creating that abundance instead of they have that or, you know, I don't have this vehicle or I don't live in this type of home yet or I'm, you know, 40 and I don't have the love of my life or whatever it can be that we tend to limit ourselves or we tend to compare. I mean, social media has made it so challenging at times for us not to compare. But remember, that's one side of the story. And what people put out there is not always, you know, it's not the whole truth. It rarely ever is. And so if you are comparing, I want you to remember that. And again, what you're thinking, other people have as well. So remember that not to compare because it lowers your vibrational frequency, Aries. Especially don't compare yourself. If you're going to do any comparing whatsoever, this is my personal thing, right? If you don't agree, that's okay. If you're going to do any comparing, compare it to who you were yesterday and be better than you were yesterday. Constantly be striving to just... Take it day by day and be better than you were the day before. That way we're always growing. But also, I'm just getting some of you are really hard on yourselves. Pat yourself on the back, Aries. You've come a long way. Try not to compare. That just drains your energy. And I'm really excited during this reading. We have two new decks that we're using here today. And one of the, the cards is the Wild Unknown Archetype. I'm so excited. I barely busted this open, but of course, when I do, I have to look at each and every one of them, get an intuitive hit off of them as well. But I'm just going to read from the guidebook, The Forest, because I haven't read each description yet from the guidebook. But this is by Kim Kranz, I believe. I will link it in the description box below. And the forest here is about the woods, the thicket, the jungle. <coughs> when uh, it is light it's about magic right magic abounds it's about childlike wonder and adventure and when this tends to be in the shadow side which it actually came up more in the upright than it did in the reverse so it could be a little bit of that turning of the wheel here it can be about concealment density and savagery wow okay maybe someone was quite savage in the past 
Now this is also about the opening, uh, the opening here, right? The forest, like what's beyond the forest. And it says, consider for a moment your earliest memory of the forest. It's likely it included all the mythic dynamics of this archetypal space. A little fear, a little enchantment, perhaps losing your way, perhaps discovering a secret mystical treasure. Such is the magic of the forest. It requires first that you enter it and then that you get lost within it. You may think there is a path to lead you straight through, but soon enough you'll be on what is known as the pathless path. There are tricksters here, dense foliage and entanglement, but equally present are the glimmers of fairy light and friends among the trees. You are on an adventure now and there's no turning back. So embrace the dim light and the moving shadows, whether literal or imaginal. Brave the forest and get lost getting found. Get lost getting found. How beautiful is that? Especially with the new life. That reminds me of the fool energy. And sometimes we, knew, we do need to get lost to be found. And isn't there a saying also that says not all that wander are lost? Right? And I feel like you are being guided through the forest. So like it says, yeah, there's tricksters. Yeah, there are, you know, shadows lurking from the crowds there or from the, the trees. But I feel like you have the fairy lights. You have the help of spirit to get through what you need to get through. It says the hunter, the maiden, the crone, and the shaman make regular appearances in the forest. Ooh, I love that. Don't be surprised if these cards come up together. Let the narrative reveal itself. Well, we only pulled one of these, but I will start to get more familiar and intuitively guide as well as use what the author depicted of these. And then we'll pull more than one. Maybe we'll do a collective reading on these as well. And it says, if you get out of the forest without feeling lost, you were only in a little grove of trees. The great archetypal forest requires we spend at least one night frightened for our life. Whew. Okay, so right, if you go through the forest and you don't get lost, then you probably weren't in deep enough. You were in deep enough is what I get here, Aries. With this wake up call that you have, you were in the forest. And remember what it says, shamans, healers. Some of you may have even come out of the forest with some spiritual gifts, which we talked about here. So I love this. Some of you are shamans, you're healers, you have this archetypal, and this is really beautiful energy. So don't be afraid to get lost in the mix. That is what I have for you, Aries. I hope that was helpful. If you like this, please hit that thumbs up button. It certainly helps get the divine channeled messages out there to those that need it most. Feel free to drop a comment if you'd like. I do read them all. If you are wanting to subscribe and haven't already, please do so and hit that notification bell. Thank you so very much, Aries, for tuning in today. Lots of love.